India now hosts 70% of the world's tiger population. Indian tiger numbers had hit an all-time high of 5,000. The current estimate shows that the tiger population in the country has been increasing at a rate of 7% per year. This is a very healthy and natural rate for any wild population to grow in a healthy ecosystem. This proves that the most of the tiger habitants are still in a good condition. The single most important factor that has contributed in the growth is the control on poaching due to strict protection measures. Tigers prefer to live in areas with dense vegetation because it is in these areas that they can better use their camouflage. A habitat is not just a place to live and prey in but also a place for tigers to congregate and to establish a sense of territory. Tigers tend to limit their movements within that habitat. A habitat is therefore a place where they can satisfy all their needs. Tigresses also use the habitat to give birth to and grow cubs. The area that is considered to be the group's home has a size that depends not just on the number of male and female tigers but also on the abundance of prey. A tigress for example will need 20 square kilometers territory. A male tiger requires a large territory such as that covers 60 to 100 square kilometers. Most of the tiger's habitants are near a body of water such as a lake, pond or river. This is because tigers are good at swimming and they usually cool down in pools. Tigers are such a strong swimmers that they can even tread through water while carrying prey. Despite the fact that tigers do come together, they generally solitary. Their relationships with other tigers are pretty complex and there aren't even fixed rules when it comes to keeping and stealing territories. Also males and females have been recorded to have shared kills at times. For example, a male hunt with couple of females. Females do not want males to go near their cubs. One of the interesting facts about male tigers is that they can behave like perfect gentlemen by letting females and cubs feed first. Male lions, in contrast, would feed first. Generally, tigers, even those which are unfamiliar with each other, can compassionably feed together compared to lions. And this phenomenon has been observed. When female tigers are still young, they start establishing territories near their mothers. Males wander further and mark their own area at a younger age. Males usually challenge other tiger territories unmarked ones or live peacefully under an older male waiting to take over that particular territory. Most of the adult tigers that die consist of young males that have just left the habitat of their birth. When they are seeking territories elsewhere, they are more vulnerable to all sorts of dangers, including those caused by territorial disputes. There will be disputes as male tigers tend to have no patience for other males. Females are more tolerant to living with other females. Male tigers make use of intimidation poses instead of direct aggression. The weaker tiger will accept its defeat by lying on its back to show its belly. This is a submissive pose for a tiger. Once the winning tiger establishes its dominance, then it may be able to live peacefully near but not within confined quarters with the weaker tiger. During mating season, the disputes are at their most violent between territorial males. Such disputes may cause the death of one of the aggressors. However, such events are rare. Much like other animals that are marking their territory, the male tiger declares an area its territory 
by the use of urine and even anal gland secretions. The males also sniff the female tiger's urine to figure out what their reproductive condition is like. Tigers also roar, just like other members of Panthera species. The roar may not be for aggressive reasons all the time. Tigers also cough, growl, hiss and moon. One of the important qualities of a good habitat is the presence of prey. Tigers tend to go for the medium to large animals when in the wild. Tigers' favorite prey in India are Cheetal, Domestic Buffalo, Nilgai, Water Buffalo and Wild Boar. Tigers also go after crocodiles, pythons, leopards and bears. Tigers' usual preys are wild horses and yak. Tigers will also take advantage of fish, monkeys and pea fowls. There are some animals that are too large to eat but can have conflicts with tigers. Examples are adult elephants and some rhinoceros. There are still cases of tigers killing rhinoceros and young elephants. Tigers even prey on domesticated animals such as cows, dogs, donkeys and horses. Some tigers have even turned on humans, thus becoming marked as man-eaters. These are the older tigers or those that have been wounded or unable to catch their usual prey. While tigers may look completely carnivorous, they actually eat vegetation as well. Historically, tigers have been hunted on horseback, elephant back. The hunting of a tiger had been considered as a manly and a courageous feat with game. Trophies being collected as the symbols of prestige, imperial and masculine. It was discovered that tigers were declining rapidly due to being poisoned, shot, then smuggled out of India to supply medicinal manufacturers in China. The trade industry paid a total of $13 million for 200 tigers that were harvested by poachers. The Chinese have banned poaching and the tiger part trade. To compensate for the banning of trade in tiger parts, China has begun harvesting tigers by means of tiger farming. This enables them to breed captive tigers for the purpose of selling their parts. Tiger bones and nearly all body parts are used in traditional Chinese medicine as painkillers. Where many people believe that tiger parts have multiple medicinal properties. A century ago, it is estimated that there were over 1 lakh tigers in the world. Now global numbers may be below 5,000. The tail of the tiger is sometimes ground and mixed with soap to create an ointment for use in treating skin cancer. The bones found in the tip of tiger's tail are said to ward off evil spirits. Crushed tiger bones added to wine served as a Taiwanese general tonic. One will allegedly possess courage and shall be protected from sudden fright by wearing a tiger's claw as a piece of jewelry. People believe that strength, cunning and courage can be allegedly be obtained by consuming a tiger's heart. The tiger's penis is said to be an aphrodisiac. Wildlife protection measures initiated by the Indian government when all the tigers from Sariska Reserve in Rajasthan had disappeared. The latest official estimate of the number of tigers in the country reveals that the world tiger population in India has increased by 40% in the past 4 years. The total number of tigers estimated is 5000. As per the National Tiger Conservation Authority, except for the states of Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Jharkhand, most of the tiger range states have shown a substantial increase in the tiger population. The report claims to have photographed 3,000 unique tigers, that is 70% of the world's estimated population. Tiger is the biggest species of cat family. Tiger cubs leave the mother when they are around 2 years of age. Tigers prefer to eat animals such as boar, deer, buffalo, although they have been eating leopards, pythons, bears and even crocodiles. Most tigers have 100 stripes like our fingerprints. The patterns on tigers are unique. The tiger hunts alone. A tiger can eat up to 60 pounds of meat a night. They hunt and eat crocodiles, young elephants, rhinos, monkeys, fish, birds, leopards and bears.
There are three different types of elephants that are currently classified as Asian elephants. Indian elephants, Sri Lankan elephants and Sumatran elephants. The fact is Sri Lanka has highest density of elephants in Asia. Elephants have highly developed brains, not to mention the largest in the entire animal kingdom. Their brain is 3 to 4 times larger than humans, although it is smaller in proportion of their enormous body weight. Elephants have an extremely slow pulse rate around 27 beats per minute to the average human of 80 beats per minute. The elephant's trunk contains 16 muscles. It's very similar to their ancient ancestors with a large muzzle on the top and sides of the trunk allowing elephants to raise it. There are also thousands of smaller muzzles that allow for finer movement of the trunk. The skin of an elephant may look more wrinkled than your 80 year old granny. But it actually helps to keep their skin healthy by holding in moisture. After they take a mud bath, the moisture of the mud remains in the wrinkles to continue softening the elephant's skin. Research has shown that elephants communicate over long distances using a subsonic rumble that can travel over the ground faster than sound through air. Other elephants receive these messages through their feet and trunks. Scientists believe that this is how potential mates and social groups communicate with each other. Elephants are highly sensitive and caring animals. In NTR, Nagarhol Tiger Reserve, there are over 300 species of flora and fauna, 32 species of mammals, 252 species of birds, 32 species of reptiles, 13 species of amphibians, 10 species of fishes, 45 tribal settlements. Nagarhol Tiger Reserve is situated at the foothills of Brahmagiri Hill Range. Nagarhol Tiger Reserve is surrounded by wildlife sanctuary. Nagarol is a home to 45 tribal settlements locally known as Hadis, having 1700 families with a population of 7000 numbers. These are indigenous Dravidian Adivasi. They are experts in honey collections, weaving bamboo baskets and hunting habits regulated by their traditions. Nagarol is named after a winding river which runs eastwards through its center through its center situated in two districts of Mysore and Kodagu. NTR was originally constituted in a sanctuary in the year 1955, covering an area of 258 square kilometers and subsequently enlarged into 650 square kilometers which was given the status of national park in 1983. For the first time after decades of constant decline, Tiger numbers are in the rise. 
This offers us great hope and shows that we can save species and their habitats when governments, local communities and conservationists work together. Global Tiger Recovery Program to effectively manage, preserve, protect and enhance tiger habitats, eradicate pouching, smuggling and illegal trade and demand for tigers, restore tigers to their former range. forest bird never wants a cage. There is no Wi-Fi in the forest, but I promise you'll find a better connection in nature. It feels really good to be lost in the right direction. Love is a great canvas furnished by nature and embroidered by imagination. Elephants are the world's largest land animal. Male elephants can reach 3 meter tall and weigh between 4000 to 7500 kg. Asian elephants are slightly smaller reaching 2.7 meter tall and weighing 3000 to 6000 kilograms. They are known for their large ears, tusks made of ivory and their trunks. Elephants are the world's largest land animals. Male elephants can reach 3 meter tall and weigh between 4000 to 7500 kilograms. They are known for their large ears, tusks made of ivory and their trunks. All that eating means one thing. Gang, an awful lot of poo. Each elephant creates about 1 ton of poo per week, which keeps the soil fertile and disperses tree seeds. Elephants also dig water holes and create footpaths, literally changing the landscape around them. Elephants have created their own sunscreen. After a river or a swamp bath, they'll throw mud and sand up over themselves to protect their skin from hot burning sun. Sadly, elephants are in trouble. Many are killed by humans for their ivory tusks.
day in the life of Dasara elephants. Breakfast of special ration of boiled vegetables and cereals with dietary supplements. The 12 elephants are taken for a walk around a 5 km long route. The tuskers are given a cold water bath before being served a meal of patty filled hastic balls and banyan leaves. They'll have a good sleep after this meal. It's a snack time with a patty filled hastic balls along with jaggery and coconut. Dinner is a meal comprising with kilos of special ration balls. One can say that the skill of taming and controlling these elephants is in their genes. Handling the big jumbos and training them to perform during the crowded dasra is not easy. But these mahouts made it easy. The first batch of five elephants comprised Howda elephant, 50-year-old Arjuna from Bele elephant camp, 62-year-old Varalakshmi from Mattigodu, and 45-year-old Vikrama, 35-year-old Dhananjaya and 36-year-old Gopi from Dubere elephant camp. After the traditional start of Gajapena, the elephants began their journey to Mysuru in trucks. 47-year-old Chaitra will join the team in Mysuru directly from Bandipur Tiger Reserve. The elephants were bathed and decorated. Along with the elephants, mahouts, kavadis and their families, a puja was performed at Sri Ganapati temple before inauguration. Over 2000 people had gathered at the event. Special cultural programs were organized where youth and children from the Tibetan camp presented their traditional dances. These tribals presented their culture in a colorful way.
ಕಾಲಗಾಯ ಶ್ರೀದೇ ಸೋಮಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠನಿ ದೇವ ದೇವಾಯ ಬಾಲನೇ ತ್ರಾಯ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಲಾಯ ಮಹೇಶನೇ Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude and mouth shut while waiting. Happiness cannot be earned, won, consumed. Happiness is the spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace and gratitude. Love is a game that two can play and both win. One of the most amazing things in life is that horrible shit happens to humans and most choose to live one more day. Keep people in your life who truly love you, motivate you, encourage you and make you happy. Believe you are born to achieve great things. We are all just walking each other home.
Elephants only eat plants, grass and fruit. They don't eat meat. Elephants love bananas. Elephants love water. They love to swim, bath, play in rivers. A healthy adult elephant can drink up to 60 gallons of water each day, which is the same as about 275 big bottles of coke. The elephant trunk is one of the nature's most amazing creations. The elephant trunk is very sensitive and elephants are very careful and protective of them. The trunk is used to drink, smell, pick up food, touch and communicate. It is used to tenderly touch a loved one or in self defense as a weapon. The elephant lives on average to age of 70, the same as humans. Elephants are very emotional. They cry when they are upset and squeak and trumpet when they are happy. Elephants are the only animals other than humans to grieve for the dead. Elephants have very good memory and they are really scared of dogs. These elephants are so clever that they even play jokes on humans. These domesticated elephants form a lifelong bond with these mahouts.
All the trees are losing their leaves and none of them is worried. Now is the time to let your light shine. May the forest be with you. 
the call of the forest. Go where you feel most alive. Doing what you like is freedom, liking what you do is happiness. Mountains are my bones, the rivers my winds. The forest are my thoughts and the stars are my dreams. The ocean is my heart, its pounding is my pulse. The songs of the earth write the music of my soul. Nature is my church, love is my religion. Take a walk in the forest and smell the wild air. Allow nature's peace to flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. Learn to grow wherever you are planted. May your time in nature lead you to yourself. And into the forest I go. I lose my mind and find my soul. And in the end, all I learned was how to be strong alone. Appreciate good people, they are hard to find. Who want to give up on society and go live in a tree house with me? The relationship between forests and rivers is like father and son. Our own heart is our temple. The philosophy is the kindness.
strong people stand up for themselves but the strongest people stand up for others. Be fast as the wind, quiet as the forest, aggressive as fire, immovable as mountain. Big things often have small beginnings. Believe, it's never too late to be what you might have been. Never stop doing your best just because someone doesn't give you credit. The world is a jungle, you either fight or run forever. If you kick me when I'm down, you better pray I don't get up. That's tiger attitude. Big things often have small beginnings. Believe, it's never too late to be what you might have been. Life shrinks or expands in the proportion to one's courage. My motto is simple, I will not lose. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that inch. Forget the mistake, remember the lesson. Sometimes you have to just let go and see what happens. My strength didn't come from lifting the weights. My strength came from lifting myself up every time I was knocked down. Only the weak are cruel. Gentleness can only be expected from the strong. Stand for something, even if it means standing alone. Be fearless. Cause an uproar to save the tigers. Every animal on the earth is living being with feelings, emotions and a family life, just like you and me. Every champion was once a beginner. Ranganathittu Bird Sanctuary, also known as Pakshikasi of Karnataka, is a bird sanctuary in the Mandya district of the state of Karnataka in India. It is the largest bird sanctuary in the state of 40 acres of land. Ranganathittu is located 3 kilometers away from the historic town of Sri Patna. The sanctuary attracted about 3 lakh visitors every year, which shows its notability as important bird sanctuary of India. Roughly. 170 bird species have been recorded here. Of this, the painted stock, Asian open bill stock, common spoon bill, wally necked stock, block headed ibis, lesser whistling duck, Indian shag, stork billed kingfisher, egret, cormorant, oriental darter, spot billed pelican, and heron breed here regularly. The great stone plover and river tern also nest here. The park is home to large flock and streak-throated swallows. During the months of January and February, more than 30 species of birds are found and the season of sanctuary is from November to June. About 50 pelicans have made Ranganthittu as their permanent home. A God-gifted piece of land on the bank of Kaveri is Ranganathittu Bird Sanctuary. The sanctuary named after the famous Hindu god Sri Ranganatha Swami who is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. The bird sanctuary span over an area of 40 acres with Kaveri river flowing through the sanctuary. Intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. Your dreams will never take a flight if you don't jump out of the nest. The sound of the birds stops the noise in the mind. Relationships are like birds. If you hold tightly, they die. If you hold loosely, they fly. But if you hold with care, they remain with you forever. Birds teach a great life lessons. All you have to do is listen to their song.
forests cover 30% of the earth's land. It is estimated that within 100 years there will be no rainforest. Agriculture is the leading cause of deforestation. One and a half acres of the forest is cut down every second. Loss of forests contribute between 12% and 17% of the annual global greenhouse gas emissions. If the current rate of deforestation continues, it will take less than 100 years to destroy all the rainforests on the earth. The rate of deforestation equals to loss of 20 football fields every minute. There are more than 121 natural remedies in the rainforest which can be used as medicines. According to the Rainforest Action Network, the United States has less than 5% of the world's population yet consumes more than 30% of the world's paper. The overexploitation of forest is making it extremely difficult to replant a new ecology. 20% of the world's oxygen is produced in the Amazon forest. Up to 28,000 species are expected to become extinct by the next quarter of the century due to deforestation. 25% of cancers fighting organisms are found in Amazon forest. Half of the world's tropical forest has already been cleared. Poverty, overpopulation and unequal land access are the main causes of man-made deforestation. The total world forest loss till date is 7.3 million hectares per year. That's a great loss to the earth. Almost half of the world's timber and up to 70% of the paper is consumed by Europe, United States and Japan alone. Soil erosion, floods, wildlife extinction, increase in global warming and climate imbalance are the few effects of deforestation. On an average, a person in the United States uses more than 700 pounds of paper every year. That's insanely cutting off trees every year. Reuse paper and plastic bags to discourage deforestation. Use canvas or paper bags as an another alternative. Pick products which require less packaging. Be creative and mail manufacturers telling them to use eco-friendly products. Show them your deforestation knowledge by highlighting certain important facts using statistics. Sign effective petition that work and help reduce deforestation. Support eco-friendly companies by buying their products that promise durability in an inexpensive way. Be active and plant trees. It can be at your homes, backyards or you can join any organization keep on stopping deforestation. Boycott companies by supporting organizations that care about environment at the cost of fighting back for the evergreen trees. Seek knowledge on deforestation. How can you prevent it from happening by reading newspapers, magazines, internet, TV shows? Spread the word and make it go viral. Be the change and eliminate the disturbing statistics on deforestation. It takes no guts but love and compassion for nature to save trees.
Lotus flower is found only in two colors that are pink and white. It is a sacred flower and occupies a unique position in art and mythology of ancient India and has been auspicious symbol of Indian culture since time immemorial. The flower grows in dirty water, rises on a long stack above the surface to bloom glorious. It is a beautiful flower which symbolizes divinity, fertility, wealth, knowledge and not to forget enlightenment. According to Hindu mythology, lotus is made as a seat of goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. Untouched by the impurity, lotus symbolizes the purity of heart and mind. Though it is an absolutely Indian flower, nowadays it is found in countries like China, Japan, Australia, Vietnam, Egypt and tropical America. Lotus honey is useful for treatment of various diseases of eyes. Apart from India, lotus is also the national flower of Vietnam. In Egypt, the lotus flowers are considered to be auspicious because they are regarded as the symbol of sun god. The lotus is the foremost symbol of beauty, prosperity and fertility. It represents eternity, purity and divinity and is widely used as a symbol of life, fertility, ever-renewing youth and to describe the feminine beauty, especially the eyes. In the Bhagavad Gita, man is adjured to be like the lotus. He should work without attachment, dedicating his actions to God, untouched by sin like water on a lotus leaf and the beautiful flower standing high above the mud and water. A deer's hearing is far superior to that of a human. It can easily detect the sounds. In fact, it is believed that a deer's hearing is so sensitive that it can determine how far away a sound was made. A deer's eyes are located on the side of its head. The advantage of this is that deer are able to view 310 degrees around themselves. This wide view allows deer to be totally aware of their surroundings. The advantage is that deer are not able to focus on one location with both eyes, causing deer to have very poor depth perception. Deer also see at a lower resolution than humans and believe to be color blind. Deer's life cycle is unique. They do not mate for life. They live and travel separately except when it's time to mate. Males will travel with other males for most of the year. But once mating season arrives, they head out on their own to reduce competition. During the seasons, deer become more active to focus on their potential mates. Alternatively, a female deer spends most of the year alone. Deer are some of the most beautiful creatures. They have been hunted by man and used as food as well as clothing and the antlers were sometimes used as weapons or tools. Listening ability of deer is far better than human. Deer can catch those frequencies that human cannot. They can also turn their ears in any direction without turning their head. Deer also have extraordinary smelling ability. They can smell food from large distance. Deer use this ability to communicate with each other and detect the position of other group mates. Life expectancy of deer is about 20 years, but every year their number is getting reduced due to cutting of forest and targeting deer on high level. Well, it would be a matter of interest for many people to know that deer also can swim in deep waters. Male deers are very protective and defensive for their family. They would not let any outsider enter their territory and they can collide with other deer if they try to offend and harm these families. After summer and before winter, deer change their color and shed their antlers. This change usually takes place within one or two weeks. Approximately 1.5 million vehicles are involved in accidents annually from hitting deer. The cost of this accident is about $1 million per year. They also result in about 150 deaths per year. There are more than 60 deer species that have been identified. Deer have lots of muzzles in their ears. The average speed of a deer is 35 miles per hour 
for a short distance. Deer weighs generally range from 40 to 680 kilograms. Most people don't know that deer are amazing when it comes to swimming. Female black bears can give birth up to six cubs, but typically two or three, and they usually breed every other year. Cub stays with their mother for about 18 months. According to USA, black bears can be legally hunted in 27 states in America and between 40,000 to 50,000 bears are legally hunted each year. More are illegally pouched and many are killed in car accidents. Their claws give them great grip and the branches offer youngsters safety from predators. Cubs can be very adventurous climbing high into the top trees. Black bears are usually good swimmers and will readily enter water in search of fish. The white tiger is a big and strong creature that weigh up to 300 kgs and therefore is black and white. Their top speed is 96 km per hour. The lion is the king of the forest. It is a muscular, deep-chested species with a short, rounded head. Lion's lifespan is from 10 years to 14 years, and its top speed is like 80 km per hour. Lions are the symbols of strength, courage, and have been celebrated throughout the history for these characteristics. Among all the cats, lions are perhaps the only species that they display their obvious sexual dimorphism. The lion has forever been a symbol of strength, power and pride. Seeing this majestic species up close is sure to be a spine-tingling experience. Lions are the most social of all big cats and live together in groups or prides. A pride consists of about 15 lions. Male lions defend the pride's territory while female do the most of hunting. Despite this, the males eat first. A lion's roar can be heard from as far as 5 miles away. A lion can run for short distance at 50 miles per hour and leap as far as 36 feet. A good gauge of male's lion age is the darkness of his mane. The darker the mane, the older the lion. The lion's heels don't touch the ground when it walks. Male lions have dense manes, lioness do not. As lions have very few sweat glands, they wisely reserve their strength and energy during the day, resting or sleeping for 16 to 20 hours each day. Lions are the second largest cats after tigers, with the males weighing more than 250 kilograms. When a male lion takes over a pride, he usually kills all the cubs. He will then mate with the lioness to rule the new pride. A lion's roar is the loudest among the cat family. An adult lion's roar can be heard as far as 8 kilometers and it's used to communicate a pride position to other prides. Female lions go into the heat several times in a year as they don't have a specific mating season. They deliver one to four cubs at a time. 
On average, a lioness needs up to 5 kg of meat every day and a lion needs more than 7 kg of meat each day. For short distances, lions can run at a speed of 80 km per hour. According to the World Wildlife Federation, they can also leap as far as 36 feet, that is 11 meters. If the baby elephant complain, the entire family will go over to touch and care. Elephants are highly sensitive and caring animals. Elephants often pay homage to the bones of their dead, gently touching their skulls and tusks with their trunks and feet. When an elephant walks past a place where a loud one once died, it will stop in its tracks. This silent pause often lasts several minutes. And studies have shown that they possess a variety of complex emotions and feelings, including deep compassion, and surprising self-awareness. Like humans, elephants have large cortexes in their brain and are not born with survival skills. They have to learn these skills from older elephants in the early years of their lives. Research has proven that elephants are extremely intelligent and their memories are vital during the dry season over the countless miles to watering holes they have visited in the past. Research has proven that elephants are extremely intelligent and their memories are vital during the dry season over for countless miles to watering holes they have visited in the past. In addition to grasses, leaves, bamboo, bark and roots, they are also known to eat crops like banana and sugarcane. Elephants can give birth until they are age of 50. And elephant's life expectancy is 60 to 70 years old. The oldest on record died at the age of 86. In addition to smelling, trumpeting, drinking and grabbing things, elephants can use their trunks to breathe in deep water. In this way, they can swim fairly long distances. Elephants must migrate seasonally in order to find food. Relying on their memories of previous food and water supplies, they will also migrate to avoid poachers and their threats. On average, elephants spend about 16 hours of each day eating everything from grasses, small plants, bushes to fruits, twigs, tree barks and roots. Part of the reason they eat so much for so long is because they ultimately digest very little of food they eat. So they need to consume more food in order to ensure they are properly nourished. While they are migrating in search of food, elephants spread seeds around the land where they have eaten, making them an important part of their ecosystems. After eating, seeds are released through elephant dung. Study found that these elephants are capable of transporting seeds up to 40 miles. In addition to eating massive amounts of food, adult elephants drink 30 to 50 gallons of water every day. They use their trunks like a massive straw to suck the water up but then they actually squeeze it in their mouths to swallow it. During the dry season, they'll dig to find water making huge holes in seemingly dry stream beds with their feet, trunks and tusks until they reach the water supply. In this way, they also create watering holes for other animals to drink. Elephants grieve when one of their herd dies. Due to the way their brains are structured, elephants display some remarkably human-like emotions, showing sadness and grief and mourning the loss of family members long after they have passed on. Elephants have the longest pregnancy in the animal kingdom lasting 22 months from conception to birth. Elephants can give birth every 3 to 4 years but will typically only have 4 calves in their lifetime. If you are on safari and see an elephant lifting its trunk in your direction, it's probably smelling you. Elephants have terrible eyesight but a very keen sense of smell. Elephants have large thin ears that contain a complex network of blood vessels that help to regulate body temperature. 
the average year of a male elephant weighs over 100 pounds all baby elephants are born blind but they can stand up almost immediately after the birth an elephant's tusk will continue to grow throughout its lifetime an adult male's tusk will grow about 7 inches every year on average males usually leave the herd between the ages of 12 to 15 living solo or temporarily hanging out with other males elephants have deep bonding with females each herd consists of anywhere from 8 to 100 elephants males usually leave the herd between ages of 12 to 15 living solo or temporarily hanging out with other males elephants are the world's largest land mammals aside from the great species like humans gorillas chimpanzees and orangutans when males experience increase in the testosterone levels this changes prepare them from competing for females and make them much more aggressive for up to 60 days then they carry their heads and ears higher than normal and make a characteristic rumbling sound a bull elephant in this stage can be extremely dangerous to anything that gets in his way baby elephants weigh around 100 kg on average heavier than most adult men and some newborns have been as large as 120 kg elephant tusks have a variety of uses as a tool to dig for food or water and to strip bark from trees the larger his tusk the more attractive a male elephant may appear to a female the elephant's very large ears are used to radiate excess heat away from the body there is a structured social order in the elephant's lifestyle The females spend their entire lives in tight family groups made of mothers, grandmothers, aunts, sisters and daughters. The eldest female nearly leads the group. Adult male prefers to live as a bachelor lifestyle.
Dasara celebration begins with the Gajapena during the mid of August is the ceremonial journey taken by the elephants to take part in the Dasara procession. This tradition started in 1600 AD in Sri Ranga Patna. Elephants today have become an integral part of Dasara celebration in Mysuru. The elephants are specially trained. These elephants with their mahouts are traditionally decorated and puja are performed marking the launch of Dasara festival and the significance to have an auspicious start. The procession begins with the tribal and folk dances by the local artists and the Tibetan settlers taking into account the health of Dasara elephants and the safety of general public. The forest department decided to transport the elephants in trucks from Nagarol to Mysore. A traditional welcome is given to elephants once they arrive at the main entrance of Ambavilas Palace in Mysore. Approximately rupees 50 lakh is spent on food, clothing, accommodation and miscellaneous expenditure of elephants, their mahouts and families for 2 months. The forest department takes an insurance policy worth 90 lakhs for elephants. A major challenge is familiarizing the Dasara elephants to loud cannon shots and 21 gun salute that are part of the Dasara celebrations.
Nature's great masterpiece is an elephant, the only harmless greatest thing. Ivory is beautiful but only on elephants. Elephants never get tired of carrying its own tusks. Take photos, not tusks. Elephants can read human's heart. The last palace known as the Old Palace was burnt into ashes during the 1896 Dasara festivities. Maharaja Krishnaraja Wodiyar commissioned the British architect Lord Henry to build a new palace. The architectural style of domes of the palace is commonly described as Indo-Saracenic with blends of Hindu, Mughal, Rajput and Gothic styles. It is a three-story stone structure with marble domes and has a 145 foot 5 story tower the palace is surrounded by the large garden the entrance gate and arch hold the emblem of coat of arms of the kingdoms of mysore around which is written the kingdom's motto in sanskrit the main complex is 245 feet in length and 156 feet in width there are fire extinguishing machines located in all part of the palace in order to prevent any fires The palace has 3 entrances the east gate the south entrance and the west entrance in addition there are numerous secret tunnels from the palace cellar leading to sri ranga patna other palaces and confidential areas the three storied stone building of fine grey granite with deep pink marble domes has a facade with several expansive arches and smaller ones flanking the central arch which is supported by tall pillars Above the central arch is a sculpture of Gajalakshmi, the goddess of wealth, prosperity, fortune and abundance with her elephants. Welcome to the royal splendor of Mysore, the home of Odiyars who ruled Mysore for more than 500 years, known as the city of palaces. Mysore retains a charm that never fails to enchant. Mysore is a popular tourist destination. offering several attractions ranging from the royal splendor of Mysore city and its fabulous Dasara festival to exquisite temples pilgrimage centers and scenic spots the Wodiyas were great patrons of arts and the finest craftsmen in the state were employed to work on the palaces Wodiyar period was a new era of prose literature as an independent literary medium and it was in other words a prose writing in the form of history of Mysore rulers Mysore is the second biggest city in the state of Karnataka. It lies 140 kilometers from the state headquarters Bangalore. It is the capital of Mysore Maharajas who ruled the Mysore state from the royal city for several centuries. Thanks to royal patronage, artists, writers and craftsmen have flourished in Mysore, making it the cultural epic center of Karnataka.